hi in the previous video we have seen how to use some advanced navigation features to create a nav bar in plotly dash right and over there if you remember we created this nav links over here like our this this more drop down this model showcase page as well as we created this fundamentals um, nav link over there as well now i did not cover this one in this uh, in in any other videos i actually converted this fundamentals nav link to another drop down as well because in this fundamental link i will be adding like more pages over here the first page we will be adding it over here is the how the neural network learns so in that page probably i am planning to cover everything like we will probably start with a data set probably the mnist data set the handwritten digit data set and try to train a model as well as try to analyze like how the training happens how the while testing how the model is performing and if there is some way we can we can make better that particular model over there or not and while doing that probably we'll talk about some mathematics as well like how mathematically this whole thing is happening or not so that's why i have made this particular nav link as a drop down now i did not cover it any any uh, any of the video because previously also we have done the similar stuff so that's why i did not cover it like if i just show you code wise in our navigation.py if you go the place where previously i have this fundamentals nav link so basically instead of that nav link it is a drop down now and it is currently having a single element how neural network learns and will the href i have given is this one over here okay so that means in the browser so it will go to this particular page this particular url it will go to so that's why this particular page.py like how neural network learns.py this particular file also i have created here as well okay with the boilerplate code and and i just kept this similar same line over here and in the index.py so i have just added another else if where the if the path name is this one then show that this particular page layout just like we did it for the multiple page dash apps right so there is no new concept over here that's why i did not did not add or discuss this one in, in any of the videos over here so in future also like if there is some concept which is already repeating so probably i will commit that code in the github and probably very shortly i will discuss in the next video so that is what we will do it so now in this video the concentration will be we will start developing this particular page over here okay now i have some ideas it is still still fully not materialized but we will go through as we are thinking of okay so so basically we will try to be as much agile as possible here so first we will try to add a bread come over here so you know anyhow that is not related to deep learning so that this particular video will be part of my plotly dash playlist okay and then probably after adding a breadcrumb uh, i will add some kind of accordion so so let me show you so accordion would be something like this one over here okay so this will help us to create multiple content something like this one so for probably that mnist data set we will try to visualize in one item then we'll try to train and then we'll try to test the model so it so that like our page will not be very much content heavy at least we will be have some kind of like toggle to show and hide the contents over here okay so now today's video let's let's talk about the breadcrumb and we will be using the plotly dash bootstrap component breadcrumb only so if i just go to this particular link over here in our bootstrap component documentation so it it will show you a very simple example of how to create a breadcrumb now anyway in our apps we already have our navigation link so breadcrumb is optional but i am just covering it because anyway we are covering most of the parts of the plotly dash right so it will be good at least if we are touch base this one okay so to create a breadcrumb if you see it here if you see the documentation it's a very simple thing you need to use this dbc dot breadcrumb over here and as a part of its properties you have to give this items where you will be basically mentioning all the different labels right like this one over here the docs 
components and breadcrumb over here if you see it like they have three labels so that's why they have created three levels over here now each and every level have href component this is also important because if you want to go back like if you want to click on this one and go to some url so you need to for that purpose you need to give this href one right and the external link is basically important when this particular url is a absolute url like google.com or something right basically that will force the when it will load right that will force that particular url that particular page to reload again okay that's the external link we have discussed this one before as well okay so that's the minimum stuff you need and if you just go through the documentation or different properties of breadcrumb it will be very much simplistic as well right the active one basically it will basically allow the apply the active style to this component as well okay so we will try to copy this code over here but we will do it in our bootstrap way that means when we created our navigation bar over here right so we did it with the container row and column so we will main maintain the same design throughout our code base as well okay so what we'll do is we will go to this how neural network learns dot py so this is my page layout right so let's create a breadcrumb variable so that i will add it over here you can directly add over here as well after the nav bar but it will be too much code over there right and it will be not manageable properly so that's why i'm just creating another variable called breadcrumb and there i will maintain all the code related to the breadcrumb and probably i will add it over here something like this one b r e a d c r u m b over here okay so let's create the breadcrumb over here okay so as we have discussed we will start with dbc dot container dbc dot container now we need to import this dash bootstrap component as well let me copy it from our navigation dot py so dash bootstrap component as dbc over here so let's add it over here okay so dbc dot container now inside that dbc dot container we'll have single row because it breadcrumb will be in my single row dbc dot row over here now inside that row i will have single column so that's why i'm not creating that array over here it's it's a, it's a single column now inside that column we will be adding our breadcrumb over here so let's let's copy this breadcrumb code over here we'll paste it so let's format it a little bit here okay now they have created docs components and and breadcrumb so what i'll do is we will create three things one is for our home page okay because anyway we cannot go to our fundamentals page because breadcrumbs are needed for so that you can easily navigate between your links over here right so we will create one for home and the href will be only black slash external link will be false anyway we are we are staying inside our application itself okay so now one is home second will be let's say our fundamentals page only our fundamentals page so now here i will not have any kind of href because anyway we we it's it's a drop down right i cannot go back to the I, I cannot directly go to this fundamentals page so this is fine like i just wanted to show you an example over here how to create a breadcrumb so even this is also does not make any sense because i do not have any kind of href over here so this is also optional and the third level we'll be creating is for our how neural network learns page so now i'll just paste this one over here so that will be our page level now this active one is basically shows us like what is the current page you are having you are currently having it right so that means if you are currently in this how neural network learns page right so it should have this but that particular link will not be clickable over here so let me show you this one so once i do this one i have created this breadcrumb variable and i have 
initialized with our breadcrumb and added it over here right so now yeah so so i'll just also change this line so this is diff this is how neural network learns page anyway we will not keep this guy in future network learns page hmm? okay so i'll just save it over here so let's see how how this this one looks like so i think it is refreshed over here let me refresh it okay if you see it like the breadcrumb is looking something like this one where the home page if you click on it it will take you to your home page and anyway you cannot go to this fundamentals page because it is not a page at all and currently you are staying in how neural network learns page right so that's why this particular link is active one that means you cannot basically click on it over here again so that's the active equals to true is basically taking talking about us okay so now if we want we can move it to this left hand side just to make the container as fluid we have seen this one before as well right so what we'll do is this is our row this is why it is ending right so here i will add the fluid equals to true so this is the property of a container over here so once i save it this particular one should move to this basically it should use the available horizontal space here and if you see it once the deployment is done so it is coming up over here so this is fine i think i think we are not going to waste much time on the breadcrumb now now each and every page we will be developing probably we will add similar kind of breadcrumb over there in that page so that we it, it is easily nav uh, like we can easily navigate from one page to another page over there okay probably i'll i'll keep this video in our deep learning playlist as well so that at least because here we talked about an idea about how we are going to develop this particular page right so i can i can i can keep this one over there as well so this is how you create breadcrumbs in your plotly dash application using that bootstrap component over there okay so hopefully this video was helpful see you in the next video